Behold, the electrocardiograph, or ECG, the first reliable one at least. But where did it come from? Meet Willem Enthoven, born in Java in 1860. Willem's father was a doctor, so it wasn't a surprise when he decided to pursue a career in medicine. By 1885, he had earned a PhD in medicine at the University of Utrecht, and he also snagged a job as professor of physiology at the University of Leiden. Willem started out working on bronchial muscles and optics before he finally honed in on his stuff of genius, the electrocardiogram, or ECG. But what exactly is it? An ECG uses electrocardiogram pickups and an amplifier circuit to measure the small electrical impulses generated by a beating heart. Detecting these impulses can be tricky because they weaken as they pass through flesh and bone, but it's worth the effort. With an ECG, doctors can detect abnormalities that would otherwise be impossible or at least very difficult to diagnose. Willem didn't actually invent the first ECG. Humans have known about electricity and the heart for a long time, and other scientists had already created rough electrocardiograms, most notably Augustus Waller in 1887. But these ECGs were not very reliable. Willem invented a string galvanometer made of long silver-coated quartz filament positioned between two powerful electromagnets that could read the electrical signals of a patient's heart with unsurpassed precision. And by 1924, he was awarded a Nobel Prize for his work.